Welcome back. This is Kirsten from JK Fiber Arts. We're going to finish the fractal two ply spin today. I will show you how to apply it and finish the yarn. And then you can see the uh, beautiful end result. Let me get going here. Uh, so <laughs> my, uh, my wonderful uh, auto level winder is getting rebuilt. They had upgrades and I'm super excited about it, but it's going to take two weeks and I just sent it back and uh, they received it Friday. So I have to go two weeks without it. Boo. I'm so used to uh, um, not having to adjust the um, hooks and now I do, but oh, well, it's fine. All right, so just uh, want to start my Lazy Kate is behind me on the floor to my left. I'm going to separate this out here. This is not my most glamorous start. <laughs> All right. There we go. And uh, just take me a second here to find my bearings. And you can see that that first um, section of a short color, and then I have this long blue section coming through. I'm going to uh, check my ply back and check my twist here in just a sec. And I already have to advance my hook. I can see that I'm totally gonna love this knot. I'm so spoiled. All right, so here's a little uh, ply back here. Um, so my twist there is good. I just want to make sure that I have a good angle. I don't think this looks like 30. I think that I have a ways to go. Yeah, that's 50. So I need more um, twist in this to get that 30 degrees that I like that gives you a nice yarn. So you saw that I was doing that ply back test frequently whenever I was uh, spinning the single. So that would give me an idea what to expect when I have this uh, plied together. I'm just trying to make sure that I stay um, with uh, my twist degrees that I, that I like. So we're looking at S here. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm up to 30. I'm... Yeah, it's closer to 30 than it is to 50. I could still have more twist. I don't feel like I want more twist, but I guess I do. So here's the... Uh, the uh, ply back here, so it's still a pretty gentle twist. Mm, I like the way that looks. I don't know if I want more twist. Oh, and I gotta move the hook again. Oh, this is gonna take me forever this way. I'll end up with some ugly bobbin because I'll forget. So I'm just gonna go on like this, uh, and um, not a lot to it. Uh, when you two ply, uh, you want to hold the singles uh, parallel to each other. And my um, front hand is sort of guiding it into the uh, orifice and my back and kind of holding tension on it. And my back hand is holding tension. Again, yeah, I, uh, I typically count my treadles until I get into a rhythm. I don't know that I found a rhythm yet. Mostly because I have to keep stopping to move my hook. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop complaining about it now. Richard, I love you. You are my favorite. He's the one who's rebuilding my auto level winder as we speak. super pretty. Uh, if you notice, I am still on blue on my right uh, side here, the right arm, and I've already gone through um, the green and blue and white rotation several times. Oh, I forgot to move my hook. Darn it. Oh, I got a big lump. <laughs> this is going to be the story of my life for this. Well, as long as we're here, let's check our flyback. 
And that looks good, just a bit when I get further along. Well, here is my not beautiful bobbin. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, and uh, this is what the uh, fractal spin looks like on the bobbin. Uh, this little strip right here, uh, I had a little extra left over from the uh, short repeat bobbin, and I chain plied that. That's why this looks solid, uh, and all the other stuff uh, is um, the fractal. So I'll just uh, wind this off and uh, put it, um, oops on my nitty naughty and uh, I saved my ends and then someday I'm gonna make something out of them. I don't know uh, what, probably weave something. Uh, anyways, here it is. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the nitty naughty and then you'll get to appreciate it better. Here it is on the uh, nitty naughty. This was that little bit of chain ply uh, that I did. Um, and uh, this is a nice uh, way to see the difference between chain plying and uh, two plying. Uh, well, this is, well, obviously this is three ply, but uh, you can see how the color uh, blocks are maintained. And this was spun from the bobbin that had the short repeats. So if I knit this up, it would give me a short little stripe pattern. Uh, and then this is the uh, Nitty Knotty with the uh, fractal spin on it. And we'll just take this off here. And there we are. So if we could just put that down like that. And then this one has a nice, uh, you're not gonna have the pooling and the uh, patterns are broken up, uh, the long repeats and the short repeats. Uh, I, this is gonna be really pretty. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, the uh, Rambouillet is a little springy, uh, but this is actually gonna be pretty balanced. I like it, I think it's gonna be good. Uh, I'm going to uh, wet set this and then um, we will uh, be back to look at it and see how much it froofs up. Uh, in fact, a good idea, let's try this here. The more I play with it, the more curly it gets. So let's do this. So right now, this is probably a 10, some of it. Let's find a good representation here. It's already starting to poof a little bit. So, you know, if I was shooting for a WPI 9, this is a little less than a 9. So it's probably, you know, this is almost an 11 here. So, you know, between like 10, 11 is basically what most of this is. Uh, so let's see how it poofs after I uh, wet set this. Here's what this looks like right out of the towel. And you can see that all of that over twist is already gone. I haven't snapped this. I haven't thwacked it or anything. I'm just going to uh, do a little thwacking here. Just a few. Just to move the uh, twist around a little bit. And it'll just plump it up a little. So you can see this, uh, this requires nothing else. It's beautiful. And I have my handy dandy tension rod from Walmart and I'm just going to hang this out to dry and uh, I think this is going to be beautiful. And we'll just uh, be back to check it here when my son is done mowing the grass. It's very hot outside today. I think this is going to dry really fast. <laughs> 